this dialogue just won't go away with GSP coming back and specifically for Khabib. I would trust largely that's because Khabib's name is in the news and he's getting ready to fight for the title. And of course, that's GSP and that's a mega super fight. So I would trust that's why it's a little bit hotter right now. But I always read the things George says because George is always internalizing and then having a counseling session. Every interview he does, he's having a discussion with himself out loud. And it's, it's, he's very fun to listen to, but he was saying some things in this most recent interview that no different. And what this was, by example, he said, uh, I feel like I'm in my best years right now, and I'm well aware that these aren't going to be here forever. He's Next birthday, he's going to be 40. 40 is a very real number for men. It's a very real number where you start to, is it true that I'm over the hill? Is it true that this is true? What happens at 40? 40 comes and goes, and you realize it's a day like any other day, but it's a very big thing, particularly for an athlete. And he is saying that I'm in my best years now. I'm working hard, and I could have an opportunity. And should I get to my 50th birthday, and I now am not in that same window, and I'm not going to have those same opportunities, am I going to regret not taking this one? The other side is, what do I have to gain? I'm not after the money, and as far as titles go, I got more belts around the house than I even know where they're at. Why do the fight? And then he asked himself, he says, but why not do the fight? And so as I hear George starting to work through this right in front of our eyes, I'm also seeing a guy who's trying to talk himself into fighting. And the thing was George's idea in the first place. He stays in the gym twice a day. He's done test weight cuts. I mean, he's got his eye on the ball, and now it looks as though the opportunity that he wanted is starting to come to fruition. I mean, we're at least one step closer. In many ways, from many of the media reports we've heard, including Dana White, the only thing separating George and Khabib from officially being offered is Justin Gaethje. Should that be eliminated, which simply means Khabib beats Gaethje, I'm going to predict for you that that fight is at least offered, right? I know that Khabib was very big on the idea, and there is a lot of honor in that. And George could walk away right now and has walked away and goes down as the greatest to have ever done it. That's true. Khabib walks away right now. He goes down as the greatest lightweight to have ever done it. Tremendous honor. Not the same thing. It's not the same thing. This champ-champ era is very real. George lived through it and George did it. Somebody else who didn't do it while living through it, meaning they had the opportunity. I'm not going back to yesteryear when this wasn't a thing. Right now, if you live in the era of champ champ and you don't go do it, but you could take out somebody who did, it's just as good. So you see where Khabib's motivation was. I think George asked a very fair question. Why do this? Well, I like that he asked the follow-up question. Why not do this? So let's see where it goes. I feel as though we're getting closer. I think I am right when I tell you there's only one thing blocking it right now, at least for being offered. One thing blocking his name's Justin Gaethje. That's a big hurdle. So we're going to have to put a pin in this, but trust me, we're going to be coming back to it.